pound the don'ts, Big AZ. Just pound the don'ts. Yikes. Big AZ. Yikes. Big AZ. That was sick. Yikes. Boom. Big AZ. Boom. That was sick. We got an opportunity. Hey, everybody. Big AZ here. Today, we're going to try to maximize the all tall small bet. Now, we all like to do the all tall small. Everyone likes to have that small wager to hit big. Today, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do the all tall small, and we're going to show you how to maximize your bets. Okay? What we're going to do, since I don't have an all tall small spot, I'm going to do this right here. So we're going to start with 750 bankroll, 750 today, okay? Now, you bet the all tall small, 10 on the small, 5 on the all, 10 on the tall. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you hit the small, small means all the small numbers, okay? So if you divide the table in half, you hit all the small numbers, okay? If I divide it in half, the small numbers would be a 2, a 3, a 4, 5, 6. That's a small. You hit all the numbers of the small before you hit the dreaded big red 7, okay? If you can hit all six of those, all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those numbers, if you can hit all five before the big red, you get paid 30 to 1. We have $10 on it. We'll get $300. Okay? The tall. What does the tall mean? Again, I'm going to split the stick right down the middle. It's going to hit all the tall numbers, all the large numbers. The 8, the 9, the 10, the 11, and the 12. If you can hit those five numbers before the dreaded big red, the 7, then you're going to get paid 30 to 1 for that bet. Now, the all. If you happen to hit the all, which means you've hit the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, the 8, the 9, the 10, the 11, and the 12, before Big Red, you get 150 to 1. Yep. Today I'm going to show you how to hedge and make money off the all tall small. We're not going to do anything else but the all tall small, and then we're going to hedge. Now, I've been talking about this long time, okay? I flipped through the other day and I saw one of Vince's videos. He was talking about hedging on the all-tall small. So I wanted to make a video because I've been talking about it forever. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it, okay? Now, I'm doing the 30 to 1, the 150 to 1, and the 30 to 1. Some places you'll get 35 to 1, 175 to 1 and 35 to 1. But we're going to go with the conservative numbers just for today. Okay? And it does work on the come out. Anytime there's a big red, we have to reset. Oh, boy. There's a big red. We're going to have to reset. We've got a 750 bankroll. You have to have a little bit of a bankroll uh, for this to make sure you're making money hedging. I mean, you don't need a huge bankroll, but it's definitely preferred for this strategy. Here we go. There's another big red. Of course, Big AZ wants long rolls. He's not going to get them. Ha! That's funny. That is funny stuff. So we're going to go 10, 5, 10. Here we go. 9. Here we go. Hard eight. Okay, good start. Now, with this strategy, there you go. Those are the numbers you want to roll. You want to get those hard numbers out of the way. The difficult numbers to roll. There we go. Aces, AC, Ducey, Yo, and Boxcars. Also, why do you want to get those out of the way? Because it's a lot more difficult to hedge on those numbers. If I'm left with just having to hit a two or a three, I don't really want to hedge. Um, doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, but
But if you're just missing a place number, that's what we want. That's if you're going to be one short of hitting it all or small or at all, you want to be one of the place numbers away. That that's the ultimate goal. Hey. Remember, it always resets. Always resets after a big red. Dice out. Five. Wow. So we're getting close, folks. Now, what do I mean by close? Remember, if I split the table in half, okay? I split down the middle. The small is the two, the three, the four, the five, and the six. We've already hit the two and the three. And we've got the five. Now, I can do a couple things here. I could do a couple of things. I'm two away, right? We're two hits. I mean, I've got 25 bucks on it. I could hedge both numbers right now, lay them, but I really don't want to do that, take away our advantage. I really I don't like to do that. Uh, it doesn't make much mathematical sense. When it comes to the tall, we're still missing the 11, the 12, and the 10, the three hardest numbers to hit. This is our best opportunity right here. If we can hit a four or six, then we can really get our plan into action. There we go. That's perfect. That's per that's exactly what we needed to have done. Now, you might be saying, well, Big AZ, what the heck are you talking about? We, we didn't hit anything. You're right. We didn't. But we're going to make money. Okay? How are we going to make money? Well, we've got $10, right, on a small. That's going to pay me 30 to 1. I'm going to get $300 if I do not roll a... If, if I, if I roll a four, okay? But what if I don't? Oh, bummer, right? We're not going to win. So, what are we going to do? I, I got to be smart here, right? I got to lay. I'm going to lay it, and I'm going to buy the lay for 105, okay? Why, Big AZ? Why in the world are you doing that? You're trying to hit the number. Well, you're right. I am. But the logical side of me comes out, okay? If I roll a big red right now, okay, I'm going to lose my 10 bucks, and I'm going to lose my 5 bucks, and I'm going to lose my 10 bucks. I'm going to lose 25 bucks. Plus, I lost 25 bucks from taking a crack at it before, right? This is our second bullet, right? If I lay the 4 and a big red comes out, I lay it for 105, I'm going to get paid $50. I'm going to get back this 25 plus, okay? Now, if I happen to roll a four, great, because I'm going to get 30 to one, I'm going to get $300, minus, I'm okay with minus the 105, I'll take the 195 bucks, okay, does that make sense to you guys? Hopefully it does. Now, we could take it to a higher level, if you're a lot more a higher level player, you may not even want to lay the four, you may just want to pound the hard four. Other options, you could hop an easy 1-3. You could hop uh, the hard way 4 for 30 to 1. Could. You could hop 2 bucks. Hard 4. You could hop the easy 4 for like, what? 3 or 4 bucks. But again, you know, that's six bucks every roll. Now, is there any guarantee we're not going to go 15 more rolls, which would be the same amount of money? That's up to you. But there are different ways you could hedge. But be smart about it. The more knowledge you have, the more likely you're going to walk away the table up money. Okay? That's the goal for you to be knowledgeable enough to know how to play this correctly. Okay? This is the beginner way. And I would say the average player way is this right here. Okay? If you're a more expert player, a higher level player, you may want to take more risk. You may just want to go with the hard four. Well, we're trying to hit it. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, folks. We're trying, we're trying to hit the four. Okay? So if you want to maximize your wins, I should have said that. I, I, I was not clear. Let me, let me be clear. I like to play. Okay? Sorry. You could... We could cancel this bet and pop some hard four action. If you're a higher level player, we're one number away of hitting big. 
If you really want to hit big, like I was saying, you could hop the easy four, hop the hard four. You could pound the hard four for just a measly what? $15 would get you 105 extra dollars, which would give you back this money. But again, if it comes out easy for, no harm, no foul. Okay? So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna play it out like that. Let's do this. Why am I doing that, Big AZ? $15, like I said, seven to one is gonna pay me 105. That's gonna pay me this. If the hard four comes out, this will cancel out this, and I still make $300. Okay? Now, if the easy four comes out, yes, we're going to make $195, but it's going to be a little less because I'm going to lose the $15. I'm okay with making $180. Does that make sense? We make $180 if it's easy four. If it's a hard four, we're going to make the 300 because this is going to pay me what I'm going to lose right here. Okay? Sorry I wasn't clear. I like to ramble on sometimes. And i got too many thoughts in my head for me to clearly uh, explain them to you guys. Okay, so we're good now. Okay, so we're hedging against the four. And then we're also hedging in case it's a hard four to get that layback. So it's like a double hedge. Woo! All right, baby, let's do it. Hey, become an official Blue Wrench crew member. Hit that join button on my homepage right here on YouTube. Enjoy the perks. Become an official Blue Wrench crew member. Six. Easy. And, and, you know, the great thing about the hard way hedging that stays up until you hit the number or the big red. So it's not like I have to replenish it if I was using a hot bed or something like that. Six again. Dice out. Ten easy. Folks, this I swear this is one take. I don't I don't reshoot videos, so this is a one take deal. Let's go. I'm glad we got to it anyway, right? At least we got to the chance to where I could talk to you about hedging. Again, I know I do crazy strategies and stupid ones and out of the box, nuts. Doesn't even make sense sometimes. But if you understand what I'm trying to do or understand what the opportunities we're trying to create, it will make you a better player because of your knowledge, your experience level with the game will go up. The more knowledge you have, the more options you have. It's like, it's like in football. If I'm the offensive coordinator and all I run is a run right, I mean, the running game is going to be boring and, and, and I have no options. That's like just playing the pass line or just the don't. You've got, to have, you've got to have some play action fakes in there. You've got to have some quarterback bootlegs. You've got to have some uh, play action passes. You've got to mix it up. Okay? But the more knowledge you have to get into that tool belt, the toolbox, you've got to use it. Okay? Let's go, folks. Let's play it out. Let's see what we can do. Ah, there's a big red. Okay. We knew that was probably going to happen anyway, right? But that's okay. Why is it okay? Because we make $50 for a nickel. All right. Yeah, I did lose 15 on the hard way. I was trying to show you taking it to another level and what to do. But that's how you hedge against the all tall small. Using that bet to your advantage. The casinos love that bet because you got these guys taking a stab. 30 to 1 of hitting all those numbers. Was well, that really going to happen? Probably not. But if you can double your money when you're down to one more number, don't you have to do that? What I mean by double your money, I meant we had 25 across, we got our 50 back. Just open your eyes. You can hedge 50% every time if you want. I could have laid that for 150. I could have just straight up laid it for 150, made 75, minus the VIG. Or I could come down here. Actually, I've got too much on the VIG, right? Here's two bucks back on the VIG. I paid too much VIG. I only made 50. So 
Yeah, I mean, you could just straight up hedge 50% of the money every time. We could have laid 150 on the four. Because if I hit a four, I make 300. It's okay, I still make 150, right? Hopefully we get another crack at it. I will tell you, most of the time when you're hedging against one number, it's probably almost always a four or 10. Rarely a 5-9 and very hardly ever a 6-8, but that would be a great time, 6-8, because you nearly get almost even money if you hedge against them, right? I mean, the 4 and 10, we know when you hedge against them, you only get about 48%. So, it is what it is. Let me get changed 100. I'm glad we had that opportunity at least to talk about it and... Uh, show you how you can maximize your bankroll. Remember, it's all about your bankroll. It's not, it's not all about trying to smack, um, it's not all about trying to hit that 30 to one. It's about maximizing your bankroll, right? We're not playing the all tall small to hit the all tall small. We're playing the all tall small to give us opportunities to make money with no risk, stress-free. Dice out. Eight, point is eight. Hopefully in this video we get another crack at it, but probably not. Ace, deuce. Now, when you're playing the all tall small, like I said, you do want to hit the two, three, 11, and 12 fairly quickly, because when you have hedge opportunities, you hope it's in the, in the place numbers. You hope. Ace, deuce again. Because it's very hard to, to hedge against AC Ducey and Snake Eyes. There's a seven. I mean, the all tall small is obviously a very heavily casino edged wager uh, to begin with. I just want you to have the opportunity to make money when the time passes. I mean, we have not hit an all tall small today, but we got back some money. If you just let it ride, you're going to get killed. The casino is going to eat you up. There's a seven again. So we're going to lose again. You don't have to do it for 10, 5, 10. You could do it at any, whatever your minimum is at your casino. I, I mean, a lot of times they'll let you do it for $2, you know. But I would always put less on the all, personally, because... If you're going to hit the all, you're going to hit one of these. You know, and these are easier to hit, obviously. So, there's another seven, and you're going to lose it again. Yeah, the all tall small is not like something that you can just be like, oh man, I'm going to hit this in the first ten minutes and I'm out. No, no roll, no roll. That does not count. There we go. Eight. Eight's the point. Again, just the more knowledge you have about the game and how it works, and the more wagers you can place around your board, the better off you're going to be. And that's all I'm trying to ever do. You know, if you see me doing some silly, ridiculous strategy, well, you know what, it's just a thought I had. Let's play it out, see what happens. There was probably a reason behind it that I had that thought. And... Obviously, it didn't work if it was silly and stupid, you know. There's another six. Ten. Yeah, you, you know, when you start knocking off place numbers, that's not ideal. Okay, there's a frontline winner. Doesn't matter to us. Because oh, you just keep playing because the bet is between sevens. It has nothing to do with points, has nothing to do with anything like that. So if you look here, we've hit an eight, nine, and ten. So for us to have hedge opportunities, I, it's just really not there. It's really not there when it's not place numbers. There's things you can do. We'll talk about that. But it's really not in your wheelhouse. Not what we're looking to do, no. There's another frontline winner. Dice out. Six, another six. That was a hard six. Point 
times six. Five. Wow, we can't get any horn numbers at all. Here we go. Yo, okay, okay. Now, this is interesting. So, this is interesting. There's a couple things you could do if you wanted to do. And, and I'm going to do them just for the sake of doing them, but I'm not really a fan of doing them. Now, this is what's going to happen to you 75% of the time. The one number you have left is going to be the hardest number, right? That, that's, mathematically, that's what's going to happen. How am I going to hedge Big AZ? How am I going to make sure I can get at least my money back? How can I do that? You could do a progressive seven strategy right now. You could. We're two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve rolls in. You could start a progressive strategy. You could hop to sevens, one, 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 and then go two, two, two. You could. You could do a progressive seven strategy, but you could start chasing really quick. I don't really like to do that. In my opinion, the 11 or the 12, I'm just going to call it a wash. What that means is I, I'm not doing anything. I'm not chasing any money. I'm not betting anything right now. It's not worth it to me. If we were having the 150 to 1 payoff right here, then I would probably start a progressive 7 strategy. Right there, the progressive 7 strategy would have worked, huh? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. But that's why you hedge against the system. Am I going to hit that tall? Probably not. We knew that probably wasn't. It was just a matter of time before that was going to come. But if a, a 7 doesn't come within the first 6 rolls, I'm chasing $1, $2, $3. All of a sudden, I'm more than $25 into it. You know, I mean, to me, it just wasn't worth it. To me, it wasn't worth it. So, yeah, today we're, we're talking about how to play the all tall small smartly uh, without even hitting the all tall small. I'm going to try it one more time here, folks. I'm going to get change. And it's a fun bet. Uh, it's a fun bet. You could be doing... Oh, there's a 7. So we have to reset. We lost. When you get a 7, we reset. I'm going to take a quarter. And we're back up. Here we go. It's a fun bet. Uh, if your casino has it, a lot of casinos do not have it. Uh, a lot of Vegas Caesars properties have the, what's called repeater bets. They don't have the all-tall-small. If they have the all-tall-small by you, definitely uh, give it a go. But I would, if I was you, I would probably just play for the table minimum. Uh, on those prop bets, a lot of those prop bets, they'll have, you may be able to do it for a dollar. Wow, this is a great start, folks. Great start for us. Why? Because we've hit the three hardest numbers in the small. The two, the three, and the four. Right now, I'm going to get 300 if I win. I could, right now, I could hedge, lay the five, and lay the six. I could. I could lay both of them. For the advanced player, for the beginning or average player, do not do that right now. But if I know I'm going to make 300 if I hit both of these, I could lay the five right now for uh, 70, and I could lay the six for 70. That way I'm going to make $50 no matter what. I could. Eight. We're going to let it play out until we only have one number left. It's just the way it should be done. Okay, this is a great... Okay, I'm so glad I kept going now. So, that was a six. Beautiful. Again, what does that mean? If I split the table down the middle... I live in the desert. A place where men used to settle their scores in the street. A place where a man's six-shooter was his life. Soft people didn't survive. The desert makes a man hard. Today we settle things at the table. 
It's you versus the dice versus the rest of the world. Do you have what it takes? Enter today for your chance to turn your 500 bankroll into the largest stack of them all. I take care of it. I'm the stick man. I'm the shooter. I'm the dealer. You make the calls live. Can you outlast six shooters? Can you be the best of the rest? Are you up for this challenge? Are you ready for the six shooter challenge? We've hit the two, the three, the four, not the five, and the six. So the small is going to pay us 30 to one on our $10. Are we going to hit it? Probably not. So we're going to make sure we're going to make some damn money. Now, what do I have to put here, Big AZ? Well, it's the opposite of the place odds. So if I put 50, it would pay me 70, right? So if I lay... We're going to be more aggressive. I'm going to lay 140. Now, I'm going to lay, you tell the dealer, hey, I'm laying the five for 140. Why in the world will you do that, Big AZ? Well, if I roll a five, I win $300. If I lay the five, I'm sorry, if a big red comes out, I've got 140 bet, which is going to pay me $100. Okay? So I'm going to make either 160 profit, 300 minus 140. 160 profit if I pop a five. If I don't pop a five, I'm going to make 140 is going to pay me 100. Yes, I'm going to lose the 25, but I'm going to walk out with 75 bucks. This is how you play the all tall small, folks. You don't just sit there with your hands in your pocket trying to hit this. Win. Take advantage. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Yo, we got a yo. Wow. This is a pretty good roll going. No clusters of chips at all. Oh, boy, there's a nine. That's a good roll, too, for us. I would have rather it been a 12, because then we could have had some double hedging situations going on here. Aces. Wow. This is a good little roll going here. There we go. Come on, baby. Seven big red. See what I'm talking about? If you sit there all day trying to hit a small and all the tall... You're going to get destroyed, folks. When you get those chances to win money, take advantage. I got 140 on the leg. 140 on the leg. 140. That's going to pay me five chips for every seven. Sorry. 100 bucks. 140 pays me 100. Minus that 25, I just made 75. That's the whole idea, folks. Nothing crazy here. Well, you might think it's crazy, but again, it's a mathematical way of you making money. We did not hit a small. We did not hit an all. We did not hit a tall today in today's session. I didn't hit squat. But you know what? We didn't lose any money today. I might have lost some money. I don't know. I put that hard four out there. That might be the difference. Let me just see what we got. We started with 750. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did lose money. Six, I did lose money. Wow, I lost 100 bucks. One, two, three, four, 500, 650, 657. We lost $93. Lost $93 plus that 15 I threw on those hard ways, so maybe we'd only be down 78 bucks. But if you were just playing all tall small, you would have been destroyed. Hopefully I've opened your eyes up to 
some different ways you can play it, some different ways you can hedge against it. The whole idea is to give you opportunities to make money. Uh, you know, and if you're playing it just for a dollar, you want to let it ride, let it ride. But if you have some money on the all tall small, make sure you leave or you make money on that series of rolls. All right, everybody. Hey, I appreciate your time today. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody who watched my channel. Like, subscribe, join the club, the Blue Wrench crew, the official Blue Wrench crew. I appreciate everybody. One last thing. Hey, let the seven work for you. Stop trying to beat the dang seven. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great day. Pound the don'ts, Big AZ. Just pound the don'ts. Yikes. Big AZ. Yikes. Big, big, big AZ. That was sick. Yikes. Boom. Big, 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 boom. That was sick. We got an opportunity. No. No. Big, 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 big. Boom! Hey, see, do see. Boom! Set the damn naughty nine. Set. Pound the dope, Big Easy. Just pound the dope.